another uh, earthquake in Japan in uh, 2011, and then this is the number of the refugees who lost the house. So this is this what happens. Uh, I am living in Fukushima. It's only a uh, hundred kilometers from the reactor, and then uh, we lost uh, so many people. It's a very kind of tragic uh, accident. And then uh, unfortunately, this is my home. And then uh, uh, we have no, still not have no idea how to clean up the nuclear plants. So uh, we are so uh, desperate. But uh, uh, I have uh, one very favorite uh, uh, expression. Uh, the expression is uh, human always uh, invents the wings uh, during uh, jumping from the cliff. So we already jumping from the cliff, so we have to invent the kind of wings to uh, clean up this kind of situations. So this is a kind of uh, old memory of uh, my childhood. So you know, which is me and uh, my brother. I'm a kind of guy who is standing like this. And uh, uh, I really love bicycle when I was a childhood. I still clearly remember uh, the first day I could ride a bicycle. So bicycle is fun. And uh, my first motivation of this kind of project is uh, we lost 90% of the uh, tourists in my city. Uh, my city, is Wakamatsu, is based on the tourism, uh, but we lost 90% of the tourists. So my hometown is something like a kind of ghost town, so I was very sad. So first motivation of this kind of project is why don't we distribute free bike to everyone? Or uh, why don't we start the uh, free share bike programs? It's very kind of simple kind of stuff. So I carefully uh, studied uh, bicycle business, but uh, my project is something like a kintsugi. Uh, kintsugi is a kind of piece of Japanese uh, craftsman artwork. I bought some of the here uh, dishes, so please um, check it out. In a kind of Western concept, if you break teacup, people just throw away because it's useless, right? So our hometown is something like a kind of broken teacup because of the earthquake. But uh, our city is very famous for Japanese lacquerware, and the lacquerware uh, craftsman has a, a very beautiful techniques called a kintsugi. <coughs> so it's a uh, joint uh, with a broken piece with a uh, lacquerware, and then uh, painted with a uh, uh, gold. So that means uh, in our concept, broken teacup is much more have more values and more beautiful than uh, before. So this is a kind of uh, one of the kind of concept of my kind of bicycle project to uh, recover or the uh, uh, um, more uh, activate uh, my uh, hometown again. So this is a kind of uh, Path of the bicycle. Uh, I thought a uh, bicycle history it was more kind of old, but uh, uh, in a just kind of something like a 200 years ago, a uh, German guy invented a uh, bicycle. But the last 200 years, we didn't have so much e uh, innovation in a bicycle. That's my kind of opinion. And the bicycle is uh, produced uh, over 130 hundred millions every year. This is a huge, right? And then uh, this is a kind of growth of the share bank programs. Uh, uh, I'm very honored to be here uh, because uh, Netherlands is a kingdom of the bicycle. <laughs> and, uh, we have uh, Japan has uh, surrounded by so much, um, uh, so many mountains. Uh, so sometimes you, you know you need to uh, go up hills, uh, but. Uh, uh, I was really, uh, I'm very surprised uh, how uh, neither of these very good <laughs> countries and it's very good for the uh, bicycle. And then uh, this is the kind of growth of the uh, share bike programs. And uh, even uh, US, US is a very well known car society, but the US even now has the share bike programs. And then uh, some big cities like the uh, city of Oslo, uh, they prohibit, uh, they're gonna prohibit the car in a city center within a four years. And then Paris also has the no car day every year. And then London uh, had a very good success in the bicycle policy uh, for the uh, London Olympics. 
So this is a kind of trend is a bicycle. But uh, there is a big problem. The bicycle uh, is a very, very uh, big problem. For instance, uh, is there even, uh, how many of you got stolen bike? Yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry for that. And then uh, uh, bike theft and then also vandalism is a very kind of big issue of the bicycle. And then uh, I carefully uh, studied uh, uh, share bike programs, but uh, now they just get the bike and then uh, they get the money. So it's not so sustainable in a business one. So I decided to reinvent the wheel. So what is a reinvent the wheel? Um, I'm, uh, I'm a kind of entrepreneur of the IT startups for the last 20 years. And uh, if I say, oh, let's invent a wheel to the programmers, a uh, programmer has two ideas for super stupid. Because uh, the wheel is a very kind of perfect uh, uh, locomotive. But uh, uh, if I say the invent the wheel is, uh, I'm a dumb uh, who has no idea about the wheel, or I'm a super genius to actually be invent the uh, much more sufficient uh, uh, locomotives and wheel. So um, I was invited to here, uh, so I must prove myself as a kind of genius. So I will continue the, uh, my presentations. This is a kind of another uh, application about the uh, invent the wheel. Uh, this is a kind of invisible helmet. Uh, one of the Nordic designers designed this kind of helmet. So uh, I don't like a bicycle helmet because it's always uh, my hair is going to be messy and it's kind of uh, more uh, humidity kind of things. But uh, uh, this kind of designer made uh, some kind of macro kind of uh, necklace kind of uh, helmet. And uh, it has something like a kind of airbox. So if you uh, fall off from the bike, you got the um, helmet, so it protects your head. This is a kind of uh, basic uh, element of my bicycle project, and then uh, it uh, consists of the three elements, apps, and LED on a wheel, and then sensors. So let's see how this works. So now uh, you rent a bike, a share bike, usually from a bicycle share stand. Uh, share bike stand. And, uh, are you? Yeah. Uh, so uh, right now we have a very smart technology like a smart dog, so that uh, you don't need to uh, get the bike uh, from the bicycle stand. And then if you ride a bicycle, uh, sensors. Uh, collect all the kind of environmental data like uh, radiation, uh, temperature, humidity, CO, NOx, uh, air pressure, and so on. And then uh, it's all up on the cloud, and then uh, everybody can share such kind of data as a kind of open data. And uh, um, unlike uh, current uh, share bike programs, a uh, user can find uh, the bike uh, wherever they are. So uh, she find a bike uh, nearby, and then she can unlock the bike uh, with a smartphone apps. Yeah, actually, this is a kind of a very beautiful uh, castle, and then cherry blossom in my city. So Fukushima is very beautiful, and I'm still alive. So please come sometime. So she can uh, share uh, her experience uh, with uh, social networks, and then uh, we have a, a variety of uh, incentives for the uh, bike riders uh, because uh, right now uh, share bike program, most of the share bike programs uh, gives you a, a front date for uh, a one bicycle uh, charge or something, but we could have a um, dynamic pricing like Uber. And then uh, now kind of big city has a lot of kind of problem of the uh, traffic jam and the air pollution. So the bicycle is a very uh, green uh, transportations. 
And uh, we have an uh, LED on the wheel so that we can display advertisement depending on the location or time. And then uh, we get uh, another revenue source from that. So that makes uh, our uh, platform uh, more kind of sustainable in a business wise. And then it's so bright, so you can uh, avoid an accident in the evening because if you drive a car, sometimes you uh, close to hit the uh, bike riders because you cannot uh, see the bike riders in the uh, in dark. So this is the kind of uh, idea of my kind of project. And uh, this is a kind of idea. Uh, this is called uh, public domain in uh, Chinese. And uh, what if now people have a bicycle uh, by all, right? But uh, why not we have a bicycle as a kind of public domain? What's going to happen next? So this is uh, my favorite figures. I uh, got it in the uh, internet. And then, you know, uh, very kind of famous uh, chart, uh, basic human needs. And then um, everybody now uh, asking, where is the Wi-Fi? Do you have Wi-Fi, right? And if you go to cafe or libraries, people always asking, oh, where is Wi-Fi, right? So why not we have bicycle uh, bottom of the whole social uh, structure, and then what's going to happen? We have a, a variety uh, type of uh, business application for uh, different uh, shareholders, and then uh, this is a kind of B2G. Uh, B2G is a, a business to the government. Uh, usually, uh, share bike programs is supported by the government because it's not so uh, profitable business. So. Maybe city bike, uh, city bank uh, supports city bike, but uh, it's still kind of part of the uh, C CSR uh, activities. So in a business way, it's not so kind of profitable because they just get the bike and they get the money. So uh, this is the um, idea of the uh, incentives for the government. So this is the kind of uh, visualization of the city. So we can uh, keep track of the uh, how to is. Uh, Tourism around the city. Uh, of course, we have two uh, choices. If you uh, accept uh, your anonymous kind of data, uh, we give the bike for free. But uh, if you like to prefer your privacy, of course, you pay and then we keep your privacy. So, two choices. And uh, we also have a, a sensor box. Uh, we work with a uh, safe chest. World biggest citizen of science, uh, NPO, uh, originally uh, Joe Ito of the MIT Media Lab, uh, gives uh, some kind of uh, his kind of visions, and then all the kind of hackers in uh, Tokyo uh, get together and then they make a uh, built up uh, a driver counter in uh, one month or two months after the kind of uh, accident happens. So this is a very kind of agile, uh, very kind of modern kind of way of making something like a more like a kind of uh, makers movement, and then we add some extra sensor to get uh, temperature, humidity, CO NOx, and the air pressures. Uh, because uh, safe test sensor is originally uh, only measured kind of radiations, but uh, uh, we are not speaking on uh, radiations, but uh, we also care about the uh, uh, world problem because world has a lot of kind of problems because uh, air pollution, or city noise, traffic jam, uh, problems all over. So we can fix that kind of problem. Actually, I brought uh, my sensor so you can see it. So. Can you pass? And then this is a kind of apps to display uh, radiations and also uh, environmental values. And then we also have uh, many kind of uh, applications like uh, uh, um, navigations in a city and then coupons for uh, the shops nearby and then dynamic pricing uh, because uh, everybody like down here but uh, nobody like up here. Right? So we can change kind of price of the share bike. Uh, depending on such kind of situations. Or uh, many uh, share bike program has a big problem because if you have a busy kind of stand, you cannot return the bike. But uh, we can uh, 
design uh, which kind of station uh, the user can return the bike uh, because of the incentives. Because if you want to return the uh, bike stance uh, with a very busy bike stance, then uh, we charge more. And if you prefer to uh, park uh, more empty bike stands, maybe we can give more discounts. Kind of things. Uh, I was invited to uh, Beijing uh, last year, and then I told my kind of ideas, and then everybody laughed at me. Uh, I'm 48, uh, so when I was a kid, I saw the picture of the, uh, China uh, on uh, my uh, school uh, textbook, and then everybody liked the bicycle. This was very kind of green China, right? But uh, nowadays, Beijing, everybody has a uh, Mercedes or very expensive cars. And then even they said, uh, oh, why bicycle? It's a kind of poor amount kind of uh, transportation. So nobody care about the bike anymore. But uh, I think this is a kind of wrong idea because Beijing, uh, most of the Indian country, uh, Indian cities, and then also uh, Tehran, or kind of Paris, or Los Angeles has a, a big problem with the air pollution. And the air pollution really kills the people. So um, we're collecting data, and then it's going to be open data, so you can uh, compare uh, how your city is clean or not. This is a very kind of important, uh, because uh, sometimes uh, I was asked myself, uh, are you a nuclear, uh, pro-nuclear or anti-nuclear, because I'm living in Fukushima. But uh, I would rather say I'm a pro-data or pro-science. Because uh, when I was a Helsinki uh, two years ago, uh, one of my uh, Finnish kind of friends asked me, are you still uh, living in Fukushima? It's very dangerous. You have to you know, move away. But uh, I ride a bicycle with a sentence, and then I checked the radiation in the uh, um, city of the, uh, Helsinki. But surprisingly, uh, the radiation in the Helsinki is a double high some my cities in Fukushima. It's kind of strange, right? And then, how many of you uh, think Fukushima is dangerous? Maybe most of you, right? But uh, how many of you knows radiation value of this city? Almost no one, right? So I checked uh, the sensor box right now, and uh, it's almost something like a 0.1 microsievert per hour. It's almost same value of my city. So there is no difference. So sometimes uh, people are kind of blind uh, because if you have no idea uh, about yourself, you cannot compare others. So data is a king. So you must know the data uh, around you first. Just two days ago, uh, SafeGas achieved uh, 50 million data set of the radiation all over the world. Uh, please check out uh, safecast.org. You can see such kind of data uh, as a kind of open, open data. So this is the kind of victory of the citizen science, a very kind of historic moment, because each one of the citizens achieved correct, such kind of huge number set in the last five years. This is a kind of phenomenon. So this is going to be change whole society, I believe. And uh, as I said, uh, most of the kind of share bike program is not so sustainable in a business wise because bike theft or vandalism or you just get the bike and then they get the money. But uh, why not we reinvent the wheel? So we have a, a LED on the wheel so that we can display uh, advertisement depending on the location or time. And then we also have a GPS navigation or dynamic pricing. So there are much there are so many ways to make a uh, share bike program more kind of profitable using uh, modern technology. And uh, furthermore, uh, sharing economy is a kind of a global uh, phenomenon uh, because uh, Uber or uh, Airbnb, they have some kind of conflicts with uh, uh, existing uh, companies, but uh, uh, people are going to shift to sharing economy more and more and then we are connecting the dot uh, because uh, what if we decrease uh, postman or kind of delivery system 
using shell bikes. Because I'm here to present something right now. But uh, for instance, if I like to have ice cream right now, I can ask somebody uh, who ride a bicycle, and then they get the money, and then I got the ice cream. So why not? And then this is uh, also kind of important aspect because uh, when we have a uh, um, big uh, accident in a nuclear plant, uh, I saw uh, I watched the news in the Tokyo. People uh, have no idea to get back home because most of big cities uh, people have to commute from very long distance, right? And then uh, I read the some kind of story. One of the lady with a high heel. Uh, took six hours to get back home. This is kind of crazy, right? And then because uh, all the kind of train and then all the kind of uh, public transportation totally stopped. And then if you walk, it's a kind of uh, five times less in, in efficient uh, than uh, bicycle because bicycle is one of the most uh, efficient uh, vehicles, uh, uh, transportation locomotives of the human being. And then uh, my idea is uh, why not we have a uh, bicycle as a kind of public infrastructure in a big cities so that if next uh, big disaster happens, people can escape away using a bicycle very easily. So this is a kind of uh, idea for the B2B. B2B is a, there are a bunch of kind of shared bike providers. Uh, I really like uh, uh, Netherlands and then share bike. But uh, I personally don't like uh, Sherbrooke Pro in uh, Netherlands because I try to uh, rent a bike, but they ask me to give passport or credit card. But you know, you don't want to give such you know, important uh, personal documents uh, to the kind of company. So uh, using our technologies, uh, we can book the bicycle uh, from remote, and then we can pay with the credit card very kind of easy way. And uh, we also uh, have an idea of the B2C business. Uh, right now, uh, when you ride a bicycle, nobody pay you a ride, of course, right? If you are kind of professional uh, bike rider or something, maybe you got money, but uh, most of us cannot get the money. But uh, using uh, advertisement on a wheel, we can get the kind of micro payment uh, for the commuting or uh, Go, going to school, you get the micro payment because uh, some of the kind of uh, shops or restaurants may uh, want to pay for such kind of advertising. <coughs> also, uh, we can uh, have C two C business like uh, Uber or Airbnb uh, because uh, in uh, San Francisco, usually hipsters uh, have uh, three things. Cool bike, MacBook, and also Subway coffee. So that's a kind of whole set. So this is a kind of hipster uh, revolutions, I think. And uh, if I'm a kind of hipster, I don't like uh, existing uh, share bikes uh, because it's more like kind of my grandfather's bike. So I really like a kind of cool bike. And then I'm traveling here. And then, uh, but uh, some of you uh, may have a cool bike nearby and you are in a conference all day. So why not you get a little bit of money and then I can get your bike. So this is a kind of idea. So I'm traveling around and then I explain uh, my kind of concept. So uh, I hope Fukushima wheel is one of the wheel of the bicycle, but the usually bicycle has a two wheels. So I like to have uh, neither the wheel or Paris wheel or Tokyo wheel or whatever the kind of city wheel. So thank you very much. So I like to have uh, questions. And we still have uh, uh, five minutes until the next session starts. So uh, uh, I'll invite people to uh, ask some questions. See if we do this with or without the mic. He was first. Oh, yeah. Oh, then I'll give it back. <laughs> <laughs> you have a question. Okay, yeah. Uh, multiple. Uh, I, I would 
see, I'd like to see this in The Hague uh, next month. Uh, what do I have to do for that? Oh, uh, what do I have to do to uh, bring this to The Hague, for example? Uh, yeah, uh, please introduce uh, a bank share uh, for buyers so that I can work this. Yeah, because is the software and the hardware both in a yeah. public space, open yeah. source? So all, okay. you, all you need is just replace uh, the current, uh, one of the wheel uh, with the LED. Uh, we can attach it. Or, and then this sensor is also kind of, uh, uh, attachable. But now I'm uh, working on a kind of uh, fundraising to install this into the handover so that it's going to be more kind of durable. And the apps is almost ready. So you just have a, a smartphone. Yeah. yeah are there? Uh, is there a team working on uh, this, or is? Ah, it yes. A uh, it's a kind of team working. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. We'll contact you then. Okay. Yeah. Easy as that. <coughs> uh, anyone else? I guess you can connect that with that anything, right? So, um, for example, I can think of um, having shops doing advertisement on your goods uh, yes. while you're passing by. And yeah. did you consider these or, or information from museums, etc.? Did, did you think about all these uh, yes. uh, things? And, and we can display almost everything. So um, it's not necessary uh, commercial advertisement, but. Uh, like a um, kind of city kind of bike. Kind of, uh, if the city has a very unique features, we can add such kind of things. And then um, I have a very kind of ambitious kind of dreams. Uh, everybody doesn't like a bike set, right? But uh, now we have our GPS and we can track them. So even the bike set, uh, stealing the bike, uh, we can display this guy is stealing my bike during they are run away. So <laughs> please steal my bike, and then you are part of my advertising. So that's my kind of crazy idea. Thank you. Last question. It's going back and forth. Uh, I forgot to say, uh, I would say to you, of course, but um, uh, I have planned or still am planning uh, to have a 24 hours hackathon on open bike sharing in Utrecht uh, next month. So, like 20th of August, somewhere like that. Uh, if there are other people interested as well, uh, ask me when the date is. And yeah, you will have contact, of course, but uh, for the rest of that. Yeah, well, people. Uh, Speaking of the hackathon, uh, we won the worldwide uh, healthcare hackathon in Safe for Bike, so our team is very strong, so I'm very happy to join. Yeah, cool. Which uh, uh, URL do we need to serve to if you want more information on the uh, hackathon? So it would be cool, but if you Google Utrecht open uh, data shared bike, we'll, we'll get that. Yeah, you could find it on the bar um, for example. <coughs> uh, and on Meetup, of course, meetup.com. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you very Thank you. much. <laughs>